Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to customize your video module. So this is what uh, it looks like out of the box when you add your video using the uh, video module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add an overlay image and an overlay color just like this. And I'm sure you can agree with me. This looks much better. And I'm going to take this a step further and also show you how to make your video fill up your whole your whole section. So that's what we're going to do today. So before we actually begin, I have a bonus for you. If you if you want to uh, learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is uh, send me an email or with the receipt number and I'll give you access to the course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to customize this. All right, so in this video, we are going to take a look at the video module. So let's start by clicking here on this plus button and add our columns. So I'm gonna go with two thirds, one third layout and then I'm going to search for my video module and select it. Right, so most people out of the box, they just use it like this. And to be honest, it doesn't look great because this is what it looks like when you, you know, add your image from YouTube. So the very first thing you want to do is to come over here to overlay. And then you want to click on this plus button to add an overlay image. So <clears throat> your image could be pretty much anything. So whatever the video is about, you want to have a video that works with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through here and look for a, an image that I can use. So let's say the image is, let's go with this one here. Upload an image. And instantly, you're now seeing that this does not really look like it's coming from YouTube. We have this overlay. We also have this button, custom button, and it looks really clean. Now, we can also further customize this by coming over here to design and we can change our overlay. So let's say you want to add a color here that works with your branding. You can just click here on this color. But the most important thing is you want to go in and reduce the opacity. So I normally just bring it down here to the middle. And then now look at that. When I over, or when I hover over it, it looks really, really nice. This icon, as you can see, I'm sure you can agree that this icon looks way too big. So let's fix that by coming over here to our play icon and use custom icon size. So this is where now after activating it, you can just reduce this. I normally use it at about 54 and that pretty much works okay. So now, if you can see, it looks much, much better. So you can either choose a color from your palette that uh, works like a lighter color, or you can even go with a dark color. So this also works as well. So as you can see here, my icon is quite dark, but it's only visible now on the overlay. So to be honest, I'm just going to keep it like that. But, you know, the option is there if you want to change the color of the icon. All right. Now let's go back to the overlay here. So on the overlay, you can also play around with the colors. So let's say you want to use this very dark gray. You can add again your transparency like that. And as you can see, this looks much, much better. So I prefer it that way. Now, taking this a step further, let's say you have rounded corners on your images and pretty much on your design throughout your design, you have rounded corners. You can also apply rounded corners here to this video. So if I come over here to border, all I have to do is to just add my rounded corners like that. So let's go with 10 for this example. Now, I don't know why it stretches like that, but uh, I can assure you everything is all right. So if I save this and let's save this page one more time. So let's exit the visual builder. There we go. So as you can see here, it looks nice and I've got my rounded corners there. So this is a quick way of just changing your styling of your video module. Now, what else can we do with this? We can also customize this and um, make it full width. So it fills the whole section. So let me show you how, that, uh, how you can achieve that. So I'm gonna come over here and add a regular section. And here I am going to add a single column. I'm gonna close that. So all I have to do now is to duplicate this and drag it into position. So I want this right here in this section. So now if you want this to be full width, right? What you want to do is to go into your row settings. So if I click here, click on design sizing, 
And first of all, use custom gutter width. I'm just gonna set this to one. And then my width, set that to 100%. And then maximum width, again, this is gonna be 100%. So now this is gonna be edge to edge. So, you know, uh, when we were working here, we added some rounded corners. Ideally, we need to get rid of them. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to border. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. Let's save that. So let's go to our video module here. So I'm gonna click on design. Let's go to border and let's just remove that. Set it to zero, there we go. Now this icon, because this is now on a bigger space, uh, we also need to go in and change that. So I'm gonna come all the way down here. In fact, where is our icon? There we go. Uh, play icon. Increase the size a little bit. So let's go with 80. I think that looks great. The overlay is fine. We can just leave the overlay as it is. And now we can save this. And as you can see, now it is full width. Now, you, what you may also want to do here is to go in and remove the padding of that section. So I'm going to set this to zero and zero. Save that. Okay, so now this is looking great. So this is how you can have a video to fill up the whole section. So I'm just gonna save this quickly and then exit the Visual Builder. All right, so this is our first example here. And then on the bottom here is where we have our video and this is filling up the whole uh, section. So if I play it, you can see here, it fills the whole screen kind of like and painting it just a plays. All right, so this is how you style your video module and make it look awesome. So try out uh, this style on your uh, existing websites and I'm pretty sure you're gonna make them look way much awesome than how it is when it comes out of the box um, before you add any styling to it. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and a bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.